I'm Polo Tate. We're here in between shoots on location near Times Square in New York City. I am talking with the president and founder of the Bova Actors Workshop, Anthony Vincent Bova. And I have some questions for you. Yes. Is that cool? Yeah, of course. Um, I, I want to know how, what you feel sets you apart from the rest of the acting techniques, teacher systems. Well, what teacher knows all the techniques? I don't know them, but I can tell you this. When actors come in, what they see is different from regardless of where they came from is uh, the specificity that our school goes to in the instrument. And the, the instrument in being the actor. The instrument being the actor. What is the actor's emotional, physical, psychological, intellectual elasticity? Are they stretched and do they have access to it? And the big thing is that when you're really open and you really understand yourself, uh, you can get out of the way of yourself and you can actually listen. And actors, that's, that's one of the toughest things is to listen. When you come from an improv background, you are constantly taught, especially with the long form improv that I do, you're constantly taught to come from a real place. You know, you're thinking of things on the fly, so you, you have to be grounded immediately. And one of the things that, why I've fallen in love with this system so much is that my acting training in the past has been really the fundamental process has been where the actor tries to come and fit into the framework of the technique or the system. And in studying with you, it's really the opposite. The system comes to the actor and just gives you tools to strip everything away and highlight the unique, most valuable thing that every actor has, and that is their individuality. Especially, I know that you talk about adding layers upon layers, um, trying to either impose or overcompensate for something because you haven't found a state of being that was authentic. Acting Trap 101. Yeah. You're not, if you're not gonna deliver organically, then you're gonna impose the behavior yeah. many times. I have to say, the first, um, the first shoot that we had after we had been doing this work, he and I have been working together for upwards of a few years now. Yeah. And Two, three years. Yeah. And the first shoot after I really, really got how to not only how to how to take those tools and really enact them for myself as my own facilitator. Yeah. It was the most liberating, fun, um, intense, and absolutely connected experience I've ever had in my life. And um, truly. Improv, it's all about reacting, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. When you're from that state, how was your, did you find yourself listening and reacting? Oh my God. You know, it was natural because it was, it was I who was doing it. It wasn't some character that I was trying to be or, or whatever. And, and in improv, especially when you are thinking of things on the fly, if you don't hear what the person, you're building a scene together. If you don't hear what the person says, then you're screwed. <laughs> I always, <laughs> I always tell my actors, improv class is fantastic for, I don't speak for other techniques and methodologies, but it's, it's, it should be great for all of them because it, it's the ultimate listening tool. It's the ultimate being tool in, in having to simply, very just simply be present. And you have to know who you are and Brave. come from who you are. Thank you guys for joining Thanks. us. This has been Anthony Vincent Bova. I'm Polo Tate. Thank you. Until next time. This is great. Thanks, babe. Bye-bye.